been some rough weather across the south and it is not over for them yet. I feel bad for my friends down in Alabama, the meteorologists. It has been relentless with these continuous severe thunderstorm warnings that they've seen. Still seeing it right now across the south. So for us, really looking out, there's no threat of severe weather here. We're just seeing some thunderstorms, some showers, and it's going to be pretty quiet throughout the rest of the week. The wettest day is today right now. So we're kicking off your Monday on a very wet note. So we are seeing some heavier showers from Bedford down to Newcastle. Also some lightning strikes that are being picked up on the radar right now. Uh, so just some thunderstorms to the north and southern Indiana and then from Bardstown to Brandenburg seeing some heavier downpours, but then all pretty light around Campbellsville and Litchfield Hardensburg. You have some showers heading your way. So we're starting out with some widespread rain out there going to be pretty wet throughout the majority of your morning and even lingering throughout the afternoon. In return with the rain and kind of the warmer conditions, we're going to be staying in the 70s throughout the whole day. Actually, temperatures might be getting a little bit warmer into the low 70s by the afternoon, but for the most part, those thick clouds are going to keep our temperatures from budging all that much. Notice by the time we head towards the afternoon, we'll still see those higher rain chances because the forecast really shows it being pretty continuous. So by the mid morning, we'll continue to see those widespread showers are going to be pretty heavy at points especially as we head towards the afternoon. We could see some isolated downpours with some still seeing some scattered to widespread rain by 4 or 5 p.m. So if you're evening commute, also forecasting rain out there. So once we head towards 10 p.m., that will start to fizzle out. We'll still see some overnight, but by tomorrow morning, forecast is showing it to be mostly dry, but still going to be pretty cloudy. Now rain chances tomorrow, definitely not as much. In fact, we might even see a nice setup throughout the midday. Going to see some sunshine out there, but probably going to be mostly cloudy with some scattered isolated pop up storms tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon with those rain chances. So the bulk of the rain we're going to see is today and this is this was just updated. Some spots might see up to two inches if we continue to see those heavier showers throughout the day. So forecast not exact, but just showing you that we might even see over an inch, which will be good because we're actually under a low level drought. So in return with the showers, our allergy forecast is going to be at the lower end for the next few days. For the first day of summer, it is trending, maybe partly sunny out there with only an off chance of seeing a pop up storm on Wednesday and Thursday. Then we'll have those higher rain chances back for Friday and the weekend, but still going to stay at the lower end. So temperatures will be back into the low 80s by tomorrow, staying in the 70s today, but 80s throughout the rest of the week and then back to average in the upper 80s by Sunday.